Today we are at Disney Springs and we are dining at City Works Eatery and Poor House. If you don't know, we do dining reviews every single Monday, so be sure to check those out. Today we were actually invited out by City Works to have lunch here and we are super excited to be back. The last time we were here, we had a brunch and it was amazing. So I'm excited to try some more items on the menu. We've actually also been here for dinner too. So uh, this is actually our third time here. So we are gonna make sure that we try some different things. Here at City Works, they serve classic American dishes with more modern twists. And they do have a ton of craft beers and cocktails. So, but we are super excited to be back and having lunch today. So here at City Works, I think what makes this really, really great is their uh, array of beer. Uh, and what is really cool about that is that they have over 90 different types of beer that you can select from um, that are both local and global craft beers. And what's really cool too is that they also save 30 plus taps that are dedicated just to local breweries. So uh, really trying to reinvest back into kind of the community here locally. It doesn't necessarily mean just Orlando, but locally is probably a little bit more spread out. So for myself, I actually decided to go with a flight today and you can do this with any of the beers that are on tap. So what's cool is that they also give you this sheet of paper that tells you exactly which one is which because uh, if you're like me, you're very forgetful and after you would have ordered, you probably would have forgotten exactly which one was anyways, especially if they're not colorful like mine are. So of course I decided to go with ciders here because they do have ciders on draft, which is really cool. Uh, some that I'm not really sure of, but uh, I went with ones that I think were pretty good. So. I decided to go with two local breweries here. Um, one is this Strawberry Lemonade Cider, which is from the Broski Cider Works. And uh, it's pretty good. Light, fruity, and by far has probably the best strawberry lemonade taste that I've ever had out of a uh, strawberry lemonade cider. The one that I was really interested in is the second local brewery, which is the Black Cherry. This is from the Acopolis Brewing and Cider Works. It is a 5.5% um, alcohol by volume cider. And it smells good. But I'm certainly missing the notes of Black Cherry in there. Then I went with something that I never really go with, which is a very dry cider. Um, I was just really trying to fill up my uh, drinks here. This is Brute Dry Cider and it's very, very dry. Almost no sweetness at all, uh, but still has a little bit of the sour tanginess of apples, which is nice. And then, um, I think to be my chaser for the day and maybe to finish off my meal, I have got the classic Angry Orchard Hard Cider Uh, which is, I find, always best directly from the draft, so pretty good. Again, you can get any four ciders or beers that you want from uh, their huge array, and you can see the entire wall over by the bar whenever you walk in. It's awesome. It's amazing. So definitely something worth just to come and check out, even if you're not wanting food, just to get drinks. For my beverage at lunch today, I decided to get the Frosé. Now, it came out looking a little more red than I'm used to. It normally comes out like a light pink, but this one is made with rosé wine, strawberries, lemon juice, and simple syrup. I think definitely putting strawberries in there like really brings out the color, um, but I think I like this more than my light pink rosés that I get because it kind of tastes like a mix of a strawberry daiquiri and rosé together, which are like two of my favorite frozen drinks. So, I am thoroughly enjoying this. So for appetizers here today, we decided to get two different things. Uh, we got cheese curds. This is white cheddar, cornmeal battered, and smoked tomato coulis. Uh, 12 bucks. So what I think makes these different than most other types of uh, cheese curds or cheese bites that you might get, normally the ones that I've had have, have always been like a wet batter, almost like a beer batter. So the batter is usually thick. Uh, but this is with the cornmeal and it's very light and almost flaky but it still um, shows a little bit of good flavor in there. And then of course you get this nice uh, uh, coolies that you can like dip the cheese into. So very, very good. Uh, and 
if we come back again, I'd probably get it again. We also got these smoked chicken wings. These are grilled chili rubbed jumbo wings and drummies. It's served with a side of barbecue sauce and mustard barbecue sauce. I do really like that these are different than a classic take on wings that are just drenched in sauce. Now, don't get me wrong, I love wings that way, but I do like that these were smoked and then the sauce was on the side. So you could kind of pick and choose how much you want to put on your wings. So I really liked these smoked <laughs> wings. Um, the barbecue sauce was a little bit spicy, but I do think that the mustard sauce kind of uh, tames that down a little bit. But. Oh, very good apps. For our lunch today, we decided to get three different entrees to try uh, to give you guys a little bit of variety, even though it's only two of us, so we're taking a lot of food home. I decided to go with the smoked barbecue platter. This is baby back ribs, grilled chili rubbed wings and drummies, pulled pork, Louisiana hot links, lime queso, butter, grilled corn, and maple bacon baked beans. Um, a lot of food on this platter. And uh, for $38, I don't think it's really that bad of a, of a deal uh, or, or of a price. So ribs are cooked really well. Um, still nice and tender, nice and smoky. They got a little bit of that nice barbecue flavor going across the top. Then we've got the pulled pork underneath. Tender. Um, I, the only thing I would like maybe is to get a little bit of barbecue sauce on the side and drizzle that over top. And then the hot links, oh man, those were super flavorful, seasoned nicely, but definitely got a little bit of a heat to them. Um, and then you've got the corn, and corn is uh, phenomenal. You can't have barbecue, I think, without having an actual piece of corn on the top. Uh, nice and tender, again, cooked really well. And then uh, last but not least, we've got the baked beans, which were good. A little bit of sweet, a little bit of salty, uh, a little bit of tanginess in there. So overall, I actually really enjoyed them. Another thing that we got, which Taylor will also talk about too, is a Smokehouse Burger. I'll let her really give the details about it, but uh, this is something that when we come back at some point, because how can you not come back to this amazing atmosphere, uh, it's probably something that I'll get as my actual entree, just because there's so much flavor packed inside of this burger. It's fantastic. We got a good medium well, and uh, it was just, it was great. I mean, the food here, we, this is our third time here, right? So, of course, we were invited today, but we come back time and time again because the quality is here. Like, it's good food. So, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. So the burger Josh was talking about is the Smokehouse Burger. This comes with house smoked barbecue pulled pork shoulder, smoked provolone, barbecue bacon onion relish, Carolina mustard barbecue sauce, and crispy buttermilk onion rings. This burger was just like Josh said, and packed with flavor. I love that they put the barbecue pulled pork on there. Um, I honestly don't know if I've had a burger that way before. I've either had just a burger or just a pulled pork sandwich. And I actually think I really liked the combination of the two together. Um, the mustard barbecue sauce in there was also really good. It uh, packed a little bit of a different flavor in there. Um, overall, <laughs> really good. Uh, barbecue burger is like my go-to burger if I go out to a restaurant, um, so I'm glad that we tried these today. We also got the filet mignon sliders. These are two grilled filet medallions on pretzel rolls with caramelized onions and a horseradish sauce. Ooh. I actually tried these before and they were fantastic, so I had to order them for myself this time. That way I could fully enjoy them and not really have to share. <laughs> So Josh actually didn't even try these today, but we are taking one home with us because we had so much food. But the filet I actually got cooked medium, which turned out to be perfect. It was very tender. Um, basically the meat just kind of like pulled apart, which was really nice, especially in a sandwich, because when you take a bite of a sandwich, you don't really want to be like pulling and chewing the meat a whole lot. You want it to be nice and tender so that you can just take a bite and eat it. And it was very good. We also got it with a side of Brussels sprouts, just for something different than fries. Um, I actually didn't try them because I do not like Brussels sprouts. <laughs> but Josh said that they were really good. They had a nice flavor and overall, a lot of food, but very good. All right, so we just finished eating in here at City Works. Here does these brains. Yes, and it was a great lunch. Uh, we have lots of leftovers to take home. They do have large portion sizes, which is actually great, especially if you do come at lunchtime like we did, you could definitely yeah. share some things. Um, 
or just get a big variety like we did and dry it all. <laughs> well, one thing that we didn't talk about is the amount of seating that they have here. They have oh. both an outdoor bar, mm -hmm. which is for on the go. They also have some outdoor seating just in general. Yeah. And then they've got a bunch of bar space too. So yeah. this is really like just a fantastic place. If you're here in Disney Springs, you want a place where you can just yeah. kind of hang out, avoid a lot of the crowds because you're mm -hmm. down here at the further end of Disney Springs on one side, yeah. uh, right next to, I want to say Lanuba, but it's not, really, side. it's not Lanuba really anymore, but <laughs> um, it's a fantastic place just to hang out. And yeah. with all the screens in there, like mm -hmm. come football season, like this is the place to be. So, yeah. you know, I mean, what more can you ask for? Amazing food. Yes. What amazing selection, a huge selection of beer and drinks. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Yes, and like I said earlier, they do also have brunch on the weekends, and we loved the brunch when we came here. So there's plenty of different options that you can check out. Lunch, dinner, or brunch, or hang out at the bar. Yeah. But we thank City Works for inviting us out today, and uh, it was just a wonderful time. But let us know if you have ever dined here at City Works here at Disney Springs.